from the director of R.I.P.D. and the writer of Batman and Robin comes the next installment of YA tropes and SAT words sold to teenagers who have already outgrown the genre. What? Too harsh? The Divergent series, Insurgent. Return to the second best franchise about a teenage girl revolutionary whose name ends in is. But this time, the stakes have been raised. At least, I, I think they've been raised. I, I kind of forgot about what happened in the first one. Azure dropped into the middle of a world so full of its own insufferable jargon, you'll scramble to remember what the f anyone is talking about. Who did what to where now? Triss is back, but her hair isn't. <gasps> no! Watch as she finds out she's not just a virgin, she's super duper special ultra divergent. Some are much stronger than others. You need to find that very special one. She's what we've been looking for. Now, this chosen one must team up with the other Divergents, Dauntless and the Factionless, to take on Kate Winslet's Erudite Faction, with the support of Candor and Amity, to avenge the attack on Abnegation, and... You know what? That's it. I'm prostrated by the bounteous measure of inordinately circuitous vernacular in this cinematic offering. See? I have a thesaurus, too! After the first movie, where Triss had to pass a bunch of tests to join a clique, she'll have to pass a bunch of tests to open a box, all while struggling to separate reality from her nightmares, simulations, and simulations within simulations. You're not in the sim. You are the sim. As the Divergent series tires of recycling other better YA movies, and just decides to rip off The Matrix instead? I really thought you were the one. Uh, how is this even legal? Warner Brothers, you might want to jump on this. Revisit all your favorite things about the Divergent franchise, like Shailene Woodley and, uh, I guess just Shailene Woodley. And sigh as you put up with all the other crap, like Faction Jibber Jabber. Thank you for your candor. <laughs> Bubless PG-13 Sex. Bloodless PG-13 violence, respected older actors being dragged into this mess, promising young actors being dragged into this mess, and Jai Courtney. Oh, well, I guess that's one less thing to worry about in part three. At least they got something right. So strap in for two hours of teenage girl wish fulfillment, culminating in a plot twist where we learn our hero's entire reality is just an elaborate test set up by an outside society who, hey, Wait a minute. Guys, I know I said this last time, but we did this one. Uh, no, John. We haven't. No. You convinced me the last one wasn't Hunger Games, but this is totally the Maze Runner. No, John. Different movie. No, it's not. It's the same exact story. Look! Look at this! If you're watching this, that means you've successfully completed the maze trials. If you're watching this now, our experiment has succeeded. What makes you different? There will be those among you who will transcend. The outside world awaits. Mankind waits for you. See? It's the same movie! They're different franchises, John. So, they're just recycling the same plot in a cynical attempt to wring cash out of teenagers? Yeah, pretty much. Oh. Well, that doesn't seem right. Starring Dr. Octotris. Four of these movies? Really? Titanic waste of talent. Naomi, what are you doing in this movie? Mr. Fantastic has the best agent in Hollywood. Mackay still five minutes of screen time. Needles. And Ansel Elgort's goofy run. Detergent inverted. Okay, I'm still confused. What exactly is the difference between Divergent and Factionless again? I'm Factionless because I don't fit into any one faction. And you're divergent because you belong to too many. Never mind. Sorry I asked. Be sure to subscribe for more Honest Trailers. For it is the thing this is which now has this for then. Damn, Daniel. Back at it again with the white vans. My llama crashed my car into a cactus. Oh well. I'm gonna do to your face what Limp Biscuit did to music in the late 90s. One batch, two batch, penny and dime. Yay, Leo won an Oscar.